Our mission is to try and enable people to create an active and flourishing community. We offer a range of services. Uh, we offer support for small groups, small community groups. So we provide advice and practical assistance to small groups. Uh, we also provide uh, a membership service so people can come in and use uh, the centre, use the computers, the art area, various things like that. The community groups are use of blog come in all shapes and sizes. They are involved in everything from breakdance to bike maintenance. Uh, they can pretty much do anything they like. Uh, we work in a way that means that we've got some core roles that people can get involved in, but if they come to us with a specific set of skills that uh, meet one of our needs, then we'll work with them and identify their role uh, and develop a new role for them so that they can have the opportunity to uh, use their skills, use their knowledge, use their experience and contribute to the growth and development and the experience that is online. I've been here about a month and I mainly help out on the IT side of things. My job's keeping computers running, helping out with all that sort of thing, making sure that the software is right as well. I volunteer with the design collective and I do graphic design work and website design work. It's a new project that started in partnership between Oblong and Youth Point and so I, uh, I work with volunteers 16 to 25 developing kind of opportunities for them to get involved with. I'm a health trainer and I teach in an adult ed centre nearby so I do some of my research for my students here as well and print it out and sometimes photocopy handouts. I work with people who've got ideas for setting up community projects and kind of generally wanting to make either their lives or their community a better place. So um, I work with them to kind of help them secure funding, um, to turn their ideas into a reality, to help them kind of network and find other groups. My name's Pauline and I'm chair of the PTFA and um, it's just a joint project um, for the PTFA our members and with the school getting together for the first you know dual language multicultural library you know in this area so it's open to the school and it's also open to the um, community. Like most charities Oblong is funded by a mixture of grants and donations and our own income which comes from us hiring out meeting rooms and office space and the things that people pay for day to day like photocopying and printing. Sometimes it's been really hard for us to get enough money to keep the centre running but at those times we found that the volunteers and the community have really come together to keep things going, to help staffing the centre and keeping everything happening day to day and really putting that work to make sure that Oblong can stay open. wonderful it's um, it's amazing I've never seen anything like it in any other place any other organization that does this sort of thing so really you have to you have to come along and see what it's about and dip your toes in for a bit uh, resource center for the local community providing various facilities that are cheaper or, uh, or free a diverse community space um, where people have the freedom to access um, and interact with each other um, to the levels that they see fit. I would say it, it's a friendly, informal place where you can um, hang out, meet new people, learn IT skills, uh, get information about funding, use the photocopier and printers, um, hold meetings, have a cup of tea, eat your lunch, <laughs> just call in to say hi to people.